if an independent candidate contesting the Pando parliamentary seat, Isaac Newton Nyakbe, has ridiculed his dismissal from the opposition National Democratic Congress. According to him, he had already forfeited his membership of the party when he conceived the idea to run as an independent candidate and debunked rumors that he had been disqualified from contesting the Pando parliamentary seat. He was speaking to Joy News after a press conference by the concerned youth of Hoi Hoi. Dismissed by the NDC for filing to contest as independent parliamentary candidates in the December 7 polls. However, the concerned youth of Pando does not seem to be disturbed about this dismissal. According to the group, they endorsed the candidature of Mr. Nyagbe since the NDC was bent on presenting the non-performing incumbent, Madame de la Soa. Kojo Adai is the convener of the concerned youth group of Pandu. Over the decades, we do not know what our representatives that we voted for in this constituency, Pando, on the ticket of NDC, uh -huh. have been doing in Parliament. Uh -huh. Indeed, after voting for them, all we see them do is to buy big cars, enrich their immediate families, Mm. and bring the cramps to the constituents to the constituents in the form of pieces of cloth. Oh, oh. what is the boot? Cutlass. Oh, oh. oh. So, oh. Notes. oh. Okay. Right. fertilizer. Just to mention for you, this year, no way. We have decided to change this myopic narrative. Yes. By running behind one of our own. Yes. yes. The youth, Isaac Newton Nyagbe. Uh -huh. We therefore have no doubt that. Isaac Newton Nyagbe can best perform this task. Well. And and we, we, the teaming youth of Pando constituency, uh -huh. come 7 December, we will vote for him to, to become the next member of parliament Mama for Pando constituency. We are therefore convinced that the NDC as a party in Pando constituency, because Pando to NDC in Pando constituency, yes, is not interested in the development of the constituency. Yes. yes. And that we, the concerned youth of Pando constituency, would advise ourselves on who to vote as president. Speaking to join news, Mr. Nyagbe expressed utmost surprise at the rumor of his disqualification from the parliamentary context. What marvels me is the rate at which the NDC is, is making mischief of this, telling the populace that I am no longer contesting as an MP not telling them that they had dismissed me as a member of the NDC, but their secretary and other people are going around telling the people that I am no longer standing as an MP and I have been disqualified. This is the message I want to send clear to the people of Pando, that I am still in the race, I am number four on the ballot sheet, and I pray that come December 7th, they vote me as MP for Pando constituency. What are your chances of wrestling the seat from Delasio? Well, I know that God makes kings. That's number one. So I know my God is going to give me this seat and, and I will do marvelously as an MP for the people of Pando. Fred Kwame Asari, Joy News, Pando.